Yesterday, I completed over 10 issues in under a couple of hours utilizing the workflow I will show in this video. And these aren't just small features or fixes. I also included some major upgrades to my app like multiple language support and MCP OAuth. I was running multiple AI coding agents in parallel. Now remote agents is great for running multiple agents in parallel. Unfortunately, my app required some Mac OS testing, some voice input that made it really hard to do with remote agents. So let me tell you the one key that helped me manage multiple agents running locally. And that is Git work trees. I hadn't used them before, but they're really powerful. It's like having separate folders for the same repository on your machine. That way your agents can work in parallel without the risk of any conflicts. It's pretty easy to create a new work tree from inside your repository. You run the command git work tree add, and then you give a path of where you want the new directory to be as well as a new branch name. Some people create a new work tree for each feature and label the directory and the branch the feature name. I like to actually reuse the same work trees, so I just have numbered work trees like work tree 5, work tree 4, work tree 3. I like my method, it just saves having to create new work trees, but you just have to make sure you clean up after each task is done so you don't have residual files or changes. And yeah, you can see here I have all these different work trees here. We have four and I like to work off GitHub issues. So let me fire off one Augie agent to show you. So with my workflow, I get all the requirements written in a GitHub issue as like a feature request. And then inside Augie, I can just say work on issue number 86. And you could probably have this in your guidelines, but I also say make sure to work on a new branch off main. And that's pretty much it. Augie should be able to take this and go until it's ready for a PR. So I got that one running on the top of my head and we're going to give other issues to all these other agents. Okay, I didn't have enough issues to run four, but we're just going to run two and I'll show you what happens once one is finished. Okay, so here we have that same one, issue 86 finished. Now this is kind of a, a tricky one. Adding support for configurable output. This is something that Claude Code kind of just shipped. So I, I thought it was really cool and I wanted it in my app. So you can configure like how the output of the agent should be and HTML UI output. I wonder if this will work. So testing these things, especially visual things is pretty hard for remote agents. That's why I like this local work tree method. And usually in the in the final output of the agent, they give you how to test it. They say they do their own testing coverage, but from experience, a lot of these visual components is pretty hard to test with just these unit tests. So, so I'm using ghosty here. And if I wanna try just this work tree, I can give command N to open a new terminal here. Um, in that same work tree. And, and then if I run this local version, it'll just be just these changes. Okay, so look, we have new output formats. This is new. Um, as you can see here, the styling isn't great. That's not got the padding that all the other ones have. Now I wanna try the HTML UI output. This is a new feature we didn't have before. What are the open issues? So what I'm hoping here is we actually have HTML rendered in this output format. Um, Okay, looks like we have some errors there. As you can see, a lot of testing is required. We weren't able to one shot this, it seems, but I did illustrate how this would work. So we would probably have to go through a few more prompts on this work tree to get this functionality to work. But yeah, and then, I mean, I guess I'll show you what it would look like if I now want to test the other other request I had going in parallel. So yeah, this was, as you can see here, this was just in the main speakmcp folder here. I closed that window. And now we focus on this window here. So, okay, yeah, this was a different issue. This issue was 57, which was kind of like an onboarding modal. So we can do the same thing here, open a new window. And this should be in Worktree 3. If we run this, we should see the onboarding uh, modal here. Yep, here you go. Here you can see the onboarding modal, three steps for this app. So we're able to test different features really quickly without having to check out branches and do all that kind of stuff. Yeah, this was the workflow that made me ship so much faster. If you guys have a more impressive workflow or you've managed to get your orchestration system working, I would love to hear it.